Hello everyone, my name is Sachin Talathi. I am a researcher at Facebook Reality Labs Research, working at the interface of machine learning and computer vision to study its utility in advancing the state of the art in eye tracking. Today I will talk about the paper titled Dataset for Eye Tracking on Virtual Reality Platforms that we published at ETRA in 2020 and the dataset was released to public in 2019. I would like to thank ETRA Organizing Committee to offer this opportunity to speak about our work from last year. I want to begin by acknowledging the effort of our intern Stefan Garbin, who led this work, and the collaboration of my colleagues from Facebook Reality Labs Research. Our motivation to compile the open eye dataset that we talk about in this paper is derived by our desire to develop eye tracking technology that is scalable to millions of users that works everywhere and for everyone. In order to develop such a technology, we have to address several eye tracking challenges. In particular, there is a need for innovation in novel sensors and hardware. There is a need for large scale ground truth data and algorithms that leverage both geometric and machine learning methods for eye tracking. This work is focused on addressing the need for relevant large scale eye tracking data set and its public release to engage community of researchers with ML and CV focus to work on the eye tracking problem. Open eye dataset is a large scale dataset captured using a head mounted virtual reality device with two egocentric synchronized cameras that operate under controlled illumination conditions and at a high frame rate of 200 Hertz. A large cohort of eye images in the dataset are hand annotated to semantically label key eye regions, i.e. sclera, pupil, and iris. In addition to 2D eye images and sequence of eye images that are unlabeled, we also provide point cloud data for corneal topography captures. This chart offers a summary of various publicly available eye tracking datasets that we could put together at the time of publication of our work. Due to the difficulty of capturing biocular eye data, especially in the VR context, there exist only a limited number of large scale, high resolution human eye image datasets in this domain. The most similar dataset in terms of domain and image specifications is the recently published NVGaze dataset. NVGaze includes annotation masks for key eye regions for an additional data of 2 million synthetic eye images, but does not provide segmentation annotations for the human eye image set at this point. The LPW dataset includes a number of images recorded from 22 participants wearing a head mounted camera. Images are from indoor and outdoor recordings with varying light conditions and thus are very different from controlled lighting conditions in VR HMD. Ours is the only data set that we are aware of that is collected at a very high frame rate of 200 Hertz under controlled lighting conditions and is coupled with optimatic data set. Here we present some data set statistics. The table and the chart below provide details on how we split the data set into training, validation and test set for use in machine learning applications. As outlined in the table, we chose to split the data set by identity of the study participants as we found this to be both intuitive and easy setting to assess and avoid biases. When selecting the validation and test set, we resample the data to account for factors such as age and sex. Resampling or reweighting of this kind is motivated by the fact that undersampled modes of true data distribution are hard to accurately capture by data driven approaches. An example of this is the age distribution shown in the figure on the left. Note how our choice of dataset split already removes a significant amount of bias. In order to see an example for the utility of the dataset for eye tracking problem, let us consider the application problem of semantic segmentation of eye regions. In order to motivate the problem, let us look at a cartoon schema for video-based eye tracking that uses feature-based detection methodology. 
In this cartoon summary, we emphasize the critical middle step where the eye image is segmented and features critical to case estimation are extracted from that segmentation. Segmentation is typically accomplished using computer vision or pre-trained neural networks. Common features extracted after segmentation include the pupil boundary or centroid. The margin for error in this process are extremely slim. Consider that the position of pupil centroid will span only a small portion of a low resolution eye image, but its position is mapped onto gaze field of view that may span as many as 100 visual degrees. This means a single pixel segmentation error will lead to large errors in final gaze estimate. Given the importance of precise segmentation of eye regions for use in gaze estimation, we decided to use OpenEye dataset to host a public challenge to design a low complexity, highly accurate model to semantically segment key eye regions. Results from the public challenge are presented in this slide. We see that the public participation produced solutions that surpass the baseline numbers we present in our paper, both in terms of accuracy metric for semantic segmentation and the model complexity as measured in terms of model size. In summary, OpenEye dataset that we published through this paper is a first large scale VR captured eye image data coupled with annotations of key eye regions and corneal topography. The dataset has spawned public challenge, producing state-of-the-art solutions for eye segmentation problem. The dataset and public challenge are designed to raise awareness of the importance of the eye tracking problem. Finally, I want to take this opportunity to announce the third in the series of open eye dataset workshop that we plan to host at ICCV in 2021. For more information, please visit the workshop and challenge website provided in the links.